Okay, this is a demo of the uh, X-ray time ca uh, calculator. It should be self-evident to any radiographer that's dealt with radiation. It's not for X-ray machines, just for radium and 192 and cobalt 60 sources. You would enter in your number of curies. Let's put 100 as an example. And we can touch in the steel thickness. And let's say this well we're shooting, or the amount of steel we have, is 0.5. Our total source to film distance is, let's say, 7 inches. Now the, the R factor is the how many rims you need to expose the film. Uh, it's commonly known different, different film from different manufacturers, different quality and speed of films, you have different factors. Uh, I said it is 4.5 because it's very common Kodak Elm film for shooting high quality pipe. You can, of course, touch in here and change it to anything you want. But for the purposes of the, this demo, we'll just leave it at 4.5. But you can change it to whatever you wish. Or, you know, if it's a cold day, your chemicals are cold, you may want to change your R factor. Some people do it that way, just like you would do with a slide rule. You, you can change your R factor to your personal preferences for your chemicals, your truck, and whatever you like in the type of film you're shooting. I just said it's 4.5 because I know most radiographers I've, I've dealt with personally that's the most common one they use for like Kodak type film film, but you can change it to anything you want. You would just simply hit calculate and it'll show you the shot time in seconds. You, if you were dealing with something other than iridium, you can touch here and change it to cobalt. You didn't need to hit the calculate button again. Now, This is a lot easier than using the complicated slide rules. One, to change from iridium to cobalt, you just hit here and choose the source you have. On, a, on the paper slide rules, you have to flip over one of the little sliders, paper sliders. Uh, if you have more than 100 curies on a paper slider, you have to do actually a two-step calculation so that you can calculate a shot time at more than 100 because any of the paper or built-in rulers only go up to 100. It's the same thing with distance. If you have an extreme amount of distance, this would still work. Uh, another type thing too on the paper slide rulers that you commonly see, if you're shooting for, like in this example, 15 seconds, it would actually involve a two-step calculation. You have to look at the, you know, see where your slide rule is at the first one, slide it over to the next one, and then you could convert that into seconds. It's just a lot easier to do it this way. This time it won't matter if it's seconds, minutes, or hours. Just to show you, and you know, we can change this here. Let's put this as one. Inch, and let's change this to uh, something pretty thick. I mean, or far away. You see, the minutes and seconds work seamlessly. If this were, you know, even thicker steel, you see it can handle minutes, hours, and seconds seamlessly. So, our experience we've used in the field quite a bit. Works just as good as a paper ruler. Much easier to use. Much simpler. Should work on an iPod, iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, use the iPod Touch in your truck, in your vehicle. Um, let me have any feedback. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.